Howdy, folks. Welcome back to Hopped Up Beer Review. Today, we're going to Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin with the Jacob Lining Kugels Brewing Company. We're going to have their Lining Kugels Oktoberfest. Hey everybody, welcome back to Hopped Up Beer Review, the show where we give you our unprofessional and somewhat biased opinion about the beer we are drinking and reviewing. Be sure to like, subscribe, and cheer us that notification bell as well as check us out on social media. All the links for that are down below in the description. It is the most wonderful time of the year, and I'm not talking about Christmas, uh, but before we get quite there, I've got Jay, I've got Andy in his attic. Both of them are swagged out with their Hot Tap Beer Review shirts looking good, fellas. What are we drinking here today? Today, we are going to Wisconsin to the Jacob Line and Kugels Brewing Company, Line and Kugels Oktoberfest. So I think we crack it and we get going. We're looking forward to an Oktoberfest. Absolutely. That is why it's the most wonderful time of the year. There we go. You're yeah, just so happy. You just popped right into that. Ah, just so excited for this time of year love all the Oktoberfest love the pumpkins love just the variety of the beers that come out this time of year that for some reason you can't get any other time of year I don't know why look at that he is all There's a reason out. yep well maybe you're going to tell us that we'll reason tell you Yes, I will. Good. Mm, smells like a good Marzen. Cheers, mates. All right. Cheers, Cheers mates. mates. Very, very carbonated. I don't know if you can see that very well, but mm -hmm. very carbonated. Yeah. All right. Them, them bubbles. Well, mm. Nerd out for us. It is an Oktoberfest. And an Oktoberfest is also known, um, no, there's kind of two types, the Martzen and the uh, Fest beer. Um, this is the Martzen. It is um, tradition. It's a German strong amber lager. And Martzen means March, like as in the month March. So they brew it in March. Traditionally, back in the day they tr they brew it in march and then they would store it in caverns caves and caverns um through the summer to get you know it has to be in a cool place so it was conditioned or lagered um and uh in the colder cellars and it would be ready in this time of year uh mid-september to october um and that's why they would call it oktoberfest uh, they tapped it in the early fall, so traditionally. And it, usually it's got a higher um, ABV to get it through that lengthy process because back then, you know, when this was first developed, you could not do it, you know, evidently store it, brew it, condition it the way they traditionally would do through the cooler months. So um, that's where we get the name um, from. Now, we all could you know, associate it with Oktoberfest. And that was the very first Oktoberfest was in 1810, um, celebrating the marriage to at the town, at the time, Crown Prince, who later became King Ludwig to Teresa of Saxon, what, what is it? Of Sax Hilda Hildburg-Galsen. So that was um, the 12th of October, 1810. So they kept those fairgrounds um, in Munich. Um, that was their very first Oktoberfest to celebrate. They had all these wonderful things going on and the fairgrounds uh, remain the same. So there's no structures on it. It's this huge kind of oval area in the middle of Munich. So that's where we get Oktoberfest. Yeah, I think uh, over kind of the, the COVID time period, I've watched a fair amount of 
Oktoberfest videos, you know, talking about Munich and, and what goes on there. It kind of seems, you know, equivalent for us uh, here in the U.S. It kind of seems like a big state fair uh, with mm-hmm. the addition of the drinking tents for the different breweries. Yes. Uh, the, the what I think it's six different breweries that six um, that are allowed to, to have the tents there. And these massive tents with bands and uh, whatnot. And, but they have like fair rides and you know uh fair food and so uh it seems like a really interesting uh, uh really interesting festival it seems like it'd be a lot of fun it was not exactly what i had pictured before i started watching that just you know hearing about oktoberfest you know i think of i think probably i guess more so of the beer tents and just the the wealth of different beers which is not necessarily the case it's mm-hmm. six breweries and the beer that they produce and the other thing that I, I've kind of learned just to throw this in there as well is that it seems that most of the beer that is consumed now at Oktoberfest is more your fest beer, uh, which is a little bit lighter, a little less ABV, uh, just because, <laughs> you know, it's a, it's an all day kind of yeah. activity, uh, a two week, and, all day in two weeks. Yeah. Right. And so, uh, uh, you had, you know, a, a lot of, uh, a lot of shenanigans to, to deal with 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 people sitting around drinking kind of the heavier abv uh beers throughout the day it all looks so fun they all know these cool songs and yeah they get down in like these little boat lines and sit down and pretend like they're rowing I, you know yeah so we're gonna, we go. we're gonna have to so, we're gonna make so, it over there sometime so question i mean you say six breweries do they they have those identified pre- mm-hmm. previously or yeah there's the six, six uh Bavarian breweries, breweries. They have? Yeah. Yeah, they're all Bavarian. Uh, we, you know, we reviewed Palliner. That's one. Hofbrau's another. Uh, Augustiner. Uh, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. It's another. And there's a few, like there's a couple of the, the other three. I'd recognize one name, can't pronounce it. And I didn't recognize the other two. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So, um, but Leinenkugel, the Jacob Leinenkugel Brewing, German immigrant, um, Jacob Leinenkugel came to from was it? Oh, my writing. <laughs> you don't wait. You don't have this all on the top of your head. Meckenheim, Germany. No. Meckenheim, Germany, uh, and settled in uh, Wisconsin, in Chippewa Falls, and uh, the family had brew. You know, his father was a brewer and an innkeeper, and so they uh, opened this brewery up in wisconsin it was at the at one time chippewa falls is a big lumber industry town had the um it was the site of the world's largest lumber mill so lumberjacks like to drink their beer and so you know a really good following then uh it's currently you know sixth generation uh ownership but they are owned owned by the molson Coors beverage company yeah they got bought out at some point mm-hmm. along the way but 1867 is when the line and Kugels uh, open. So it's a, it's a Molson product. Now, huh? All right. Well, um, we're hoping that we can definitely, you know, bring you a couple more Oktoberfest reviews here uh, in the, in the near future at this time of year. Um, but for the time, this is the one we're doing. So I think it's time to rate it. Uh, Jay, what do you think? You know, I'm pleasantly surprised. Um, Line and Kugels has never been one of the, the tops of my list when I go into a beer store and find things. Um, but th- this turned out uh, relatively well for their, their margin. So uh, I, I think I'm going to rate this a, a seven. It's a solid offering and pretty good light Oktoberfest. It's not heavy. I know, and we had talked about some of the Oktoberfest being on the higher ABV because they have to be aged, or at least that was the process mm-hmm. back yeah. in history. Now that, that, that uh, technology and other things have changed things, I think this came in at, what, 5.1%. Um, mm-hmm. So it, it's a relatively lower ABV. Um, could drink two or three of these and not have any issues. So it's, it's pretty, pretty crushable. Okay. Andy, what you got? Have you had this before? Have I had this before? No, I have not. You have. It's your turn. Yeah. And it's my turn. Wow. I'm going last. 
just <laughs> flipping the tables over on me. Huh? Yeah, look what I did there. Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna, you know, go ahead and say that if it has the word Oktoberfest in it, if it <laughs> has, you know, pretty kind of blue and white labeling, I, I'm immediately gonna be drawn to it. Um, there is, I just have some affinity for Oktoberfest, and again, the 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 blue and white checker that of the Bavarian uh flag or, or or symbol that we've talked about in the past um so I, I don't know what it is it's just you know i always am drawn to that um that all being said this time of year i load up on oktoberfest as well any fest beers oktoberfest pumpkin anything this time of year i, I, I go and, and i'll get as much as i can while it's out so having not had this before um definitely pleasantly surprised i think it's uh, uh you know a good offering it's a little bit light again to be called an Oktoberfest. it's a little bit lighter than i was expecting and again that goes with the abv and, and kind of you know what what jay uh reiterated there um so but i like it, it it's definitely crushable you know I, i'm gonna give it a seven and a half it's good yeah i um forgot i'd had this it's been almost three years when I looked back at my tab and I looked at what I wrote and, and it said that I was, you know, somewhat pleasantly surprised at the, <laughs> the decision to get this and drink it. And, you know, um, so I still am, I think it's a, a quality Oktoberfest. Um, so a good choice. I, and I'll go with my ratings last time, 7.5 on this as, as an, as an Oktoberfest, it's got the little malt character to it. Um, tastes Germanic. <laughs> so 7.5 for me. Well, that will give us a 7.3 for the Oktoberfest from line and Kugel. It's again, the best time of the year. If you are a beer drinker and you like, you know, all the variety of Oktoberfest, Fest beers, pumpkin beers. I mean, it's just, it just doesn't get any better than, than right now. So uh, go out and find you some Oktoberfest, whether it's Line and Kugel, whether it's any other uh, of the great ones that are out there, just pick something up because, hey, in a month or two, you won't be able to find it anywhere. So be sure also to like, subscribe, and cheers that notification bell. Check us out on social media. Do you have a further comment there, Andy? That, that wasn't a good transition for you? Or? Giggles. No, Giggles. just All right. you amused me. All right. Well, I'm glad that I make somebody laugh, right? Uh, so for well, Andy, at least, at least you don't make him bored. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <that's, laughs> Your face is not bored. <laughs> for Andy laughing in the attic and Jay, I am Ben. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates.